This is Alaska Golden. While you're busy sitting at home creeping on Facebook, pull up to the Foul Mouth Al Show link and tune into the show. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> I'd rather pass a kidney stone than another night with you. If you really loved me, then you'd leave. I liked you better before I knew you so well. Babe, you hurt the love right out of me. Don't come home drinking with loving on your mind. I hate every bone in your body except mine I'm so miserable without you, it's like having you here Babe, I'm getting gray from being blue But if you don't leave me, I'll find someone who will Is it cold in here or is it you? I'm just a bug on the windshield of life. If you want to keep the beer cold, put it next to my ex-wife. If you want to know just how you done me wrong, it's all there in the title of the song. Riba! <laughs> Walk out backwards slowly so I'll think you're walking in. Your teeth are stained, but your heart is pure. I'd kiss you through the screen door, but it might strain our love. Why have you left the one you left me for? It's not the high cost of living, but the cost of living high. Get your tongue out of my mouth, cause I'm kissing you goodbye. Just how you done me wrong It's all there in the title of the song It's all there in the title of the song That was Dave Chappelle. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show, everybody. Yeah! <laughs> Dave Chappelle, I've been doing that all day, man. <laughs> Do people so do that to you a lot? Holy yes. shit. That I can call Our technology oh. was out of control there for a minute. <laughs> That's so people up. call you Dave Chappelle all the time? Actually, they do. Yeah. They've actually put it in the newspaper that Dave Chappelle is <laughs> playing at the bar. Damn. Hey, maybe we ought to try that for the Sports Zone gig. What's that on the uh, 24th this month? Let's at, do that shit. This month That's right. at uh, the Sports Zone in Smyrna. Yeah, we'll say right. Dave Chappelle. Bill it as Dave Chappelle and see Dave if it goes up. Did you see the posters that we made? I saw what you posted online. Yeah, I'll show you one before you leave. We got a pretty nice uh, poster that uh, yeah. Video Mike, our graphics designer, <laughs> did for us for this event. Yeah! Uh, the Sports Zone in Smyrna with uh, Todd Chappelle. ToddChappelle.com. <laughs> Todd Chappelle. Yeah. Moderately funny acoustic comedian. That's right. You know, it's better when people come to one of my shows that they have low expectations. It works better for me. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't want to set the bar too high there, Al. It's, so. very, it's very like listening to our show. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> if you're not expecting much, you won't be let down. You That's will right. not be let down. That's, That's a good song title. I should have put that in the song. That's in a whole another album. <laughs> I love that song. That was a great song. Thank the, you. Uh, the um, country song titles. Right. It was all about different uh, country songs. And uh, what? <laughs> what <the fuck? laughs> it's all in the title of the song, I, I, right? Yeah. Wasn't that the theme of it? What? The that song. Is, that is the theme. That's the theme. What yes. are you talking about, Squig? Not are what you, you were talking about a minute ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so Todd's here. Todd. Um, Todd has no hair. Nope. Not I, even any. Nope. I got your birthday. It's April 29th. So you have a birthday coming up this month? Yes. You're going to be what, 29? Uh, I wish. 44. 44. What? Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Good night. He's still breathing. Still yes. breathing at 44. Thank God. That makes you a little bit older than me. For once, I'm not the oldest guy in the room. <laughs> For once. He's in his prime. Hallelujah. Yes. Excellent. I'm not the oldest guy in the room. I still wake up with morning wood. You do? Yeah. I clap Obviously, that. you do. <laughs> Obviously you don't. Sorry for your luck. I wake That's up with right. morning wood too, and I take care of it. I walk out and get the fucking mail when that shit happens. What? <laughs> I do. I mean, what? Do I, I'm 43. God damn. What do you hang a hat on it or something? Yes. Yes, I've seen you do it. It's nasty. Your balls. No, I, I wear my underwear. It's like a tent. 
I'm pitching the tent <laughs> to the mailbox. Sometimes I greet the mailman. He just he tucks the mail in there. It's like a tip for a stripper. I don't know. <laughs> so I was born the same year you were, 1969. Okay. I was born the weekend of Woodstock. Oh. So that was a great August, year. Yeah, cool. August 15th, 1969. Uh-huh. Awesome. So Todd Chappelle is here with us. Also with us is John Hammett. Metamorphous. Yeah. Rapper extraordinaire, another one of Delaware's great talents, and with him is Robert Christian Hanna, also known as Ruiz. <laughs> Rob, Rob. <laughs> Rob Ruiz. That's close enough. Right? It's Rouse. It's Rouse. Ruiz. 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 Like, like Lewis, Lewis. With, an, with an R. Yeah. Like Lewis with an R. That sounds like a Chinese song. You should. <laughs> <laughs> it's right Ruiz with an R. That's right. <laughs> it's right Ruiz. Ruiz. Fa ma fa. That, they do that. They fa ma fa. That's Chinese for fa ma fa. Yes. Squid knows Chinese. <laughs> wow. Maybe you guys can do a song together. I can tell you've spent some time over there. Definitely. Damn right I did. <laughs> a lot of it. What did you do in China, Squid? Jerked off. That's why my eyes are squinted like theirs. <laughs> <laughs> what else do I do over there? That's why it's the Foul Mouth Al show. Mm-hmm. So, Todd, aren't you glad you went to college for all this shit? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> aren't you glad you came down here right straight from work? Yes, I know. So straight from work. So what do you do? You're an accountant? I'm is an that accountant correct? In, in North Wilmington, yes. In North Wilmington. North Wilmington. Beautiful North Wilmington. Downtown. Yeah. Where it's a place to be somebody. Yeah. Or a place, yeah, it is a place to be somebody. So they say. <laughs> that's what the sign says. <laughs> According you, to the sign. and you know, you pull into town. That's right. Um, but you live in uh, Chad's Ford. Yeah. So how, how far away is that? Did we ever figure that out? Colin right, gave up. Right, it's right over the uh, uh, It's an I, hour and ten minutes, right? If that. From from Chad's Ford to Smyrna, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. So I was dead on. Who owes me money? Ian said we three back. hours. Ian, or not <laughs> three hours? <laughs> not Ian. <laughs> Colin. He's telling us it was hours and hours away. Uh, I no, thought it was out near Allentown. No, no, no. I live like less than a half a mile from the Delaware it's Pennsylvania border. So yeah, it's 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 not that far. From I could walk into Pennsylvania if I have, or into Delaware if I have too many beers. So how long have you been accounting? Um, since I graduated from University of Delaware. So many, year, many, yeah, many moons, years. Many years. Many moons. moons. Over 20 years. How long have you been playing? Um, well, I first picked up the guitar probably junior high school and then played um, through high school and college. And then Did after you do, I like, got cover out of co- bands and stuff like that? Or? I was with a band for a little while, um, but I, I did a lot of solo gigs. Like I'd go into a bar and play, you know, Jimmy Buffett and Eagles and. That kind of stuff, those kind of covers for three years. It's or four easy hours when you're night. doing it by yourself. There's nobody yeah. else to, to fuck you up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. So I did that, and that's how I kind of semi supported myself through the 90s and then uh, got married, got kids, got serious. Is that the ex that you sang about? No, no, that's compl- no, that was, that was that's made completely up. made up. Oh, shit, I believe that crap. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm still, still married to my first wife. Sweet. Congratulations. 14 years. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. You believe that? Man. Yes, I do. Hubba hubba. <laughs> That's I why I don't have morning wood. So. <laughs> yeah, no more morning, morning wood because then you got to use it just like that, I do. Well, I got divorced after 25 years, so that's oh why God. I got morning wood. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> hey. 25 years? 25 years. 25. 25 years. So you got married when you were 12? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm 43. 43. Yeah. So 43 no, minus 25 is? Is 17. Is it, okay. Is 18. I'm an accountant. Yeah. yeah he knows his not, shit. not 12. It's not 12. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sister. I married so at 12. So you just got divorced. We weren't yesterday. married. We weren't married. Um, we got, I got, I, we you started. You were with her for 25 years. We were years. together for 25 years. We oh. were, we dated for 12 and we were married for 13. Oh my God. Right? So that's a long time. That is a long time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Sorry for bringing the show down, everybody. That's fine. She's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. You know what I mean? Good. So, um, yeah, I played guitar as well, um, but I can never sing like you do. You're a good singer. Thanks, man. Thanks. So So did you play in bands around this area? Not anymore. Not anymore. No, I got out of it when my son was born. 
He's nine years old, uh, so it's been a while. Man, right on target. I got a nine-year-old son. Too. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So we were, um, you know, we we're running across similar lines and never met up till now. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully you'll stay married. <laughs> 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 marriage is I'm a good keep, thing. I keep my fingers crossed. If you're, I don't know. After the show, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, after the family. <laughs> Bring out the strippers. <laughs> Where they at? <laughs> No, there's no strippers here. Um, but seriously, so you've been playing uh, professionally to some degree for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, getting paid. I don't know how professional I've been. How but long have you been doing the comedy? Uh, that it? I've been doing, I was in a band called uh, Legends, which was like a 50s, 60s, 70s cover band. Mm-hmm. And um, that band, uh, the guy who was really in charge of it, uh, passed away suddenly in 05. So it was right after that that I, you know, I didn't have an outlet. So I started writing my own stuff and discovered I wasn't a very good serious songwriter. So went into the the, the funny stuff and started booking gigs that way. So it's been about six years, six or seven years. Huh? Yeah. Um, you know, you're going to be like the next Weird Al Yankovic or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I we need to get you a compliment. wig and get you a wig and a funny suit, and we can make a cool music <laughs> parody video. There you go. A parody of a parody. Yes. We'll make fun of Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Damn right. How about we do Gallagher? That's Featuring Todd Chappelle. <laughs> Gallagher. That's what we do here at Elaine Carroll Studios. We see visions for you. Yes. And you just got to say, yes, that's what I want to do. <laughs> right? Mike will run with it, no doubt, no doubt. So you play guitar and mm-hmm. also piano. Mm-hmm. Do you yep, have any so piano CDs out? Uh, no, I usually throw one or two piano songs on each CD. I'm on my uh, fourth CD. Did you ever yeah. do like a lounge lizard uh, get a gig where you hang out and just chill and sing I haven't funny done song? anything like that. That would be cool. <laughs> you, have you heard of uh, Richard Cheese? He does uh-uh. he does uh, lounge covers of like hard yeah. rock songs. Is that right? You've I've heard, heard of, him. of him? He was in the um, the remake to uh, Dawn of the Dead. Uh, he had a, one of his songs made it onto that movie. I knew about him before <laughs> that though. Uh, it, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's he's it's, it's interesting. He's hilarious. Hmm. Yeah. What's his name? Ron? Richard Cheese. Richard Cheese. That's his stage name. I don't know what his real name is, but... Probably not Cheese. So, that's the formal way of saying Dick Cheese. It's not yeah. Joe. He changed it when he came over. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, like, sorry. Cheese. I would have got that in the editing or, or the <laughs> second or third time I listened to this take. Hey, we meant Dick Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it either. Yeah. yeah, that's nasty. So he'll do, like, a Rage Against the Machine songs with, like, an orchestra. It's really, it's really cool. That's yeah. A, yeah, it sounds. Yeah. In fact, cool. one of his CDs was called "Lounge Against the Machine." We've got some cool recordings of local heavy metal acts and artists that have came down here and done acoustic songs, oh, broken cool. their stuff down into acoustic. Cool. Huh? You got the one that I just did here, Lowdown 3021. Yeah, so we've got a handful of them, and um, it's, they're pretty cool. You know, we're going to release it too. I was, like, I was just going to ask you: Are you going to do a Foulmouth Owl CD compilation? Yeah, actually, we became pretty good at recording all, uh, acoustic stuff. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> since we've done that, you mm-hmm. know, actually, it's kind of neat too because you can listen to the first one and then the fourteenth one that we have, and there's a big progression. Oh yeah. You know, rather than just sit around a table here, we'll actually set the mics up and position them strategically yeah, and man. edit it a little bit into the board. It comes yeah. out pretty damn good. Awesome. So when that CD comes out, look for it on shelves and it, with artists everywhere for ninety nine ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> yes. These artists, these artists need to make money, kids. They'll give you a deal. They'll give you half off. Todd will sell his to you for only forty nine ninety five. But, Absolutely. But don't tell nobody. In a, yeah. in a paper case, right? And, and it'll be in a paper bag. <laughs> yeah. I'll send it to you in a Ziploc bag. And Our an friend Reese, Reese, he came in, released a new CD here, and it had a, um, it was, it was, he stapled them all, put them all together in a paper bag. It in was, a paper bag. It was yeah. a little paper bag folded over, fit the CD perfectly. It was really a cool idea. And he drew. He, he said he's on a low budget, man. The economy was bad. Uh, you, you know, know what I'm saying? I understand that. <laughs> it worked. Believe me. The man's still putting out music, though. So you got to give it. These guys are working hard. All right. Just like John. Metamorphosis over here. And Ruiz. Like <laughs> Lewis? No, it's Ruiz. Yeah. Ruiz. <laughs> Not Ruiz. It's Ruiz. Ruiz. Ruiz, that's like the Puerto Rican version or Mexican or something. Hey, Ruiz. From that show, I Rav Rusi. Yeah. Yeah. I Rav Rusi. Rusi, you got some explaining to do, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) So, Todd has released four CDs. Mm -hmm. Are you working Mm -hmm. on the fifth CD right now? Is it almost about ready to come out? No, it's not about ready to come out. No. (laughs) No, the last one I did was in 2011. I've probably got enough new songs now for, for another CD, but. We should do a okay. DVD. 
We a should DVD. do DVD. Take your songs, make me make little music videos, and make a story out of it. Turn you, it into a DVD. You are more than welcome to take one of my songs or more than one of my songs and do a video to it. Can I? As long as there's no it? nudity. In we it. should put it out oh. in a DVD format and sell it that way. Oh uh, yeah, that'd be great. The it? video album. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That's where the wig and, and all the other cool stuff we're going to set you up with is going to come. We're actually doing a video album for our artist, JQ, here at the studio. Mike's already got visions in his head. I can I can see his, I see him. See his wheels turning. Dancing his, in his head like sugar plums. He's turning his computer on right now as we speak. <laughs> Badass. He's got a sp- actually <clears throat> an old spinning wheel. <laughs> he's got a um. He's got this thing he puts on his, his private parts when he watches porn. It's fucking neat. I What's never it, seen shocking? it. shocking? No, vibrate? No, it's just like a um, it's a USB vagina. I think is what it is. I don't. <laughs> it's a magnet. It's a US vagina. <laughs> yeah, it's a big magnet he puts on each side and it smushes. It's not shit. a USB. It's a USV. <laughs> <laughs> a USV. <laughs> All right. So, well, at the end of the month, you're going to be up at the Sports Zone in Smyrna with us yeah, at man. the Free Thinkers Ball with Miss Lauren Ventura, and uh, it's a place to network with other artists and other musicians. So come on out at the end of the month. Every, April, April 24th, April right? 24th. That's a Wednesday night. Yep, and uh, uh, it's the last Wednesday of the month, every month. I have that it's a 9 o'clock start time. Is that, is that right? No, no. no. Okay. I'm glad I asked No, that. it's going to be, um, it's going to be, the, the event is like 7 to 10. Oh, okay. So chances are you're going to play I'm about I'm probably nine. going on around 9, but the about whole nine. thing, the whole shebang starts at 7. Yeah, cool. yeah. So, uh, well, it'll start at like eight. The entertainment will start at eight. The bikers will start pulling at about seven. It's oh, a, good. It's bike night at at the uh, Sports Zone in Smyrna on Wednesday, and that's um, three to four hundred bikes will be there. Easy, good, you, easy. If the weather's bad, we'll be doing it inside. There will not be that many there. I always give a great show, and I fear for my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, what? It's going to be outside now. Yeah, as long as the weather's good. Sweet. Yeah. 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 That's how we roll, right? That's how we roll. That's how we roll, Squig. So who's seen the uh, video of that basketball player breaking his leg? Oh, oh, God. oh damn. That's nasty. Wow. You got to look it up on YouTube. I'm sure it's out there, kids. Guy breaks his leg. What was the game? Basketball. It was Louisville against uh, <laughs> Louisville against Duke. Louisville against Duke. We know who's from Pennsylvania here. Nobody around here gives a shit about college <laughs> basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody broke their leg. I'm there. Yeah. What was the game? I don't know. Basketball. Yeah. Is it on YouTube? It what was, was it? on YouTube about like 20 minutes after it happened. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I like uh, everything else. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's immediate now. And this probably got 8 million hits already. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> 8 million hits on YouTube. That guy's getting a check for like 50 bucks. That's a shame. That's, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Before it gets taken down. What is up with that? Do you have any monetized videos on YouTube? Uh, I do not. I have lots of monetized videos. Do you have any monetized Zero? videos, video, Mike? Uh, I believe three. Have you gotten any checks yet? Um, five bucks. Five bucks. Video Mike's making money on YouTube. You oh, no, that's a lie. I had one that they offered me to be monetized, and I said yes, and I've never received any. Yeah, I got it's a bunch. Of, I've never got 10 cents. <laughs> it's in the mail. It's coming. Yeah. I've never got 10 cents. So um, I don't even know. How many hits do you need before they I don't send know. you a penny? I don't know. I'm just, give me all the hits I can get, and I'll watch for the check. <laughs> <laughs> if I get millions of hits, I'm going to start figuring out why I don't have a check yet. Yeah. Even if it's $5. You need to wait for some guy on TV to break his leg during a basketball game and get 8 million hits. We can we can break Squig's leg. Let's do this. <laughs> Squig would do it for the show. Anything I just had for a, the show. I just had a video taken down by YouTube. Is that right? Mm-hmm. For what? Uh, it was a song parody of it was something I wrote right after the Pope resigned in in February, and I wrote a, a Prince song parody called Papal Rain. Oh. Okay. Um, and about last week, actually, I got a notice from YouTube that Prince's publishing company, Controversy Music, had filed a uh, copyright infringement notice against me and against YouTube, so they took it down. Mm-hmm. Even though it was a song parody. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure I'm in the right. Yes. But I don't have the money to fight, so. Right. So it's down. Just put it back up. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right? So I have one strike against me on YouTube right now. Make a new account. Put it back up. Uh, that's what I'm, yeah. Yeah. Bit, you know. They just took. Uh, just don't put Prince's name in it. No. <laughs> but they run it no. through some kind of processor, and they and they have they have the ability to detect the uh, content of the song if it reflects or sounds like something else. Oh yeah, because I have some song parodies up there. Then 
as soon as I post it, it says it matches such yes. and such a yes. song. They know. Yes. They, they leave it up until somebody complains. Right. Because if nobody ever complains, then I'm, they'll stay up there forever. But right. Yeah, it's amazing. They know. Hmm. It's the YouTube police. <laughs> well, hell, Al, Facebook knew I put my dick on Facebook. <laughs> That, they took that down. <laughs> it didn't match anybody else's, did it? I don't know. That yeah. cops ain't came yet. Okay, good. <laughs> I only got the tip. I'm not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. They were able. <laughs> they were able to take a tip print though. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a vagina. They were able to lift <laughs> lift the print off the image. Yeah. <laughs> and they're now they, looking for this. That's right. Have you seen this dick print? They're putting it on milk cartons. That's right. <laughs> no, have you seen? Look, have you seen this dickhead? Somebody called the tip line about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Said, hey, I got a hot tip for you. Hey, man. <laughs> Watch it. He throws up on you. <laughs> Everybody, shut the hell up. <laughs> what a joke, Squig. You ruined it. You pissed all over it. <laughs> you pissed all over our good. It time. went long enough. So John That's Hammett, what she said. Yep. John Hammett, let's talk to you a little bit, buddy. You work you right from Dover, right here in Dover, Delaware. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is a G Glide? Um, what is that? Gentle Glide Foreman and Playtex. You're a Gentle Glide Foreman. So you uh, you are a foreman of Tampon Production. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Four minutes yeah. tampon production. Fuck rapping. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Dude, me. Let's you're talk. in the right place to talk about that. Let's talk about tampon production. Do you test them bitches in um, Coke bottles? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it up, and when it pops, uh, that means... It's so actually... Basically, I make the things through a machine... And they go to a well, lab. Well, what, what are these things you're making? You make oh, tampons, tampons, or do yeah. you make the tampon case? or no, just, string? Like, just a tampon. Just a, okay, the so what is a tampon. tampon made of? It looks like a big cigarette filter or something, doesn't it? Well, it's a, it's a barrel with some fucking some white shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, call it, they call it rayon. <laughs> you know, they call it rayon. It's like a, figured that? It's like, it's like need, a type of cloth. It's I like, need to call my wife. Hold on. You may be in danger. <laughs> You know, and, um, white shit will get you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I was just like, hey, stick the barrel up there, white shit will come out. <laughs> Did you ever sniff one? No, it's actually scented. So you, I mean, it smells. Do you rub smells, them on your neck? It oh, smell date. <laughs> so the whole room you're in smells like tampons. Well, it's a production. It's factory. So yeah. So what do they scent the tampons to smell like? Um, What's the scent? It's like a cert. Use? It's like everything a but vagina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. ABV. I mean, meatball if, sub. Mm, I meatball mean, sub. they come in different flavors. This is like the axe for vagina right here. Like. <laughs> the axe for vagina. How about um? <laughs> good lord. It is like. Do they have like different different scents, or they use yeah, just the one? It's, um, this month we're inducing trout flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he gets down on a woman. He's like, oh baby, you on it? Cause you on that. Super glide scent. Does it have yeah. like a so it's very absorbent? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a it's a cloth type material, and they put it in a machine. It rolls it up or presses it or yeah, like. Do they treat it with chemicals? Yeah, it's a certain perfume. Like when it goes through, it just drips on there. Anti twat. Yeah. Funk. Or is that lubricant? Stuff. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> They should have lubricant for that. It's in it like a you know them old pickles that are in them bags. Well, it's called yeah. it's called G Glide. You know, gentle glide. You gentle know. glide. So is it lubed? Is the is the applicator lubed? Is there some kind of you know? Hey, maybe it's just a painless insertion. No. It goes in easy. Yeah. It's small, right? They don't make like difficult yep. tampons. No. Yeah. You don't have to I fight want the with kind that fucks with me. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, I, I, thought that was a, I thought G Glide was a rap name when you first said it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, it said here. G Glide. G -Glide what yeah. is that? I don't know. It's in my notes. I thought it was somebody's rap name. I was going to say, this sounds like a tampon applicator. <laughs> 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 but no, he works at Playtex and he's a tampon G Glide manager. So, um, yeah, these things got to be smooth. They don't, the ones with prickles on them, I don't think sell too well. They got to oh, be, no. they got to no. insert easily. Are yeah. they ribbed, ribbed for her pleasure? That's condoms. Hey, maybe. <laughs> hey, it, it's, you got to get I some mean, good just, thing about it. All content there. and ideas are owned by the Foul Mouth Al Show and Lane <laughs> <laughs> Please do not try to uh, hmm. produce ribbed tampons without, <laughs> our, without our express ribbon. Somebody's consent. applying for a patent after the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm typing it. He go to his boss. Hey, boss. Video I mics. <laughs> video <laughs> mics. Video mics on the website now. On the copyright website there. 
So you're from Miami, Florida. Yeah. Um, you're a Christian. So happy Easter. Thank you. <laughs> did you did you um did you go to church? Um actually I didn't because my mother went to work. That was that was crazy as hell. So what, you didn't have a ride? Yeah. Okay. I understand. God will forgive you. That's what <laughs> Jesus does. Jesus forgives. So did you pray? Oh yeah. Did you? Oh yeah. What'd you have for dinner? Easter bunny. Yeah, it was a lot. His mom went to work, so he probably had Big Mac. It was chicken, you know. (laughs) Chicken for Easter? No ham? Greens, ham, yeah. It's ham. Ham? I love ham. A lot of of stuff. (laughs) Why was that funny? It's just fucking funny. Somebody say ham. (laughs) It's like you're segueing segueing into something. (laughs) Ham. I love ham. I love ham. Ham is on sale. (laughs) <laughs> at the Acme this week. You know that shit, don't you? <laughs> no, they're not a sponsor, Squid. Just... When, when Albert eats, he sweats profusely. That's Pro- only when I'm full. Profusely. And I can't profusely. put no a more lot. in. <laughs> and I can't he put likes no salted in. pork. Oh, so John fuck. is a rap artist here in Dover, Delaware. And you, got, you, got, you must have been good enough to get... You know, Squig's attention. Yeah, Squig's not that easy to get up with. People are trying to get up with him all the time, and yeah. I'm getting all these complaints that Squig ain't getting back to me. Did you have a hard time getting up with Squig? Um, no, not at all. Not at I all. Check, no. I uh, was creeping on him. People aren't <laughs> people aren't really trying that hard, I guess. Then you know, yeah. John's motto is: Tell us your motto, John. My motto. Yeah. No, never really came with a motto. We got one. Squig, Squig wrote one down for you. I'm trying to be the best no matter how it looks. Oh, yeah. Time to break bread on you haters. <laughs> that, that's that your was motto, actually right? something I wrote when I was 16. You know? <laughs> hey, that's your motto. It's just still oh, here. Yeah. What's yeah. that on his Facebook? Yeah. Yep. That was creeping. <laughs> Squig's got me, man. You don't even know what you got on your Facebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so we can fuck with him. So do you have a press kit or um, electronic press kit or a website or anything like that where people can find your music? Um, Actually, you know, uh, Reverb Nation, you know, Hot New Hip Hop. Those are two things. Uh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah, that's about it. But I'm actually in the process of making, you know, my actual web page. So once I break out with my debut mixtape, you know, that'll be a place where everybody can surf. Do you need a web page? Lane Carroll Studios can help you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can do graphics. Did you know about our, our promotion with Colin? Tell him about your promotion, Colin. Uh, I do uh, three photos for $50. Three photos, man, for 50 bucks, shot in a studio and edited by world-famous artist Colin Kent. Yeah! Colin Kent. Tonight we're going to get some cool pictures taken with Colin and Video Mike here. And um, he's doing a special promotion for three pictures for $50. If you stop in, he might even give you a fourth one for free. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's only- if you mention ExploreDE.com, he'll give you five. And if you jerk him off, he'll give you a, a special surprise. Family win. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's single. Oh, no. Are you single? He had some chick here the other day. Did he? Good Lord. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's single still now. He's That's single that. now. He tagged it, and now he's on to the next one. Why every time you're like, I'm always single? It's like, you were with this girl yesterday. Well, I'm single now. Hey. What the? F- why are you keep saying that? Because she's not sitting there. Exactly. Mm. It's a gentle glide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that gentle glide keeps her away <laughs> once a week. Glide. I just, I'm, I'm like a robber. I slip in and slip out and go on to the next house. <laughs> Hey, you guys remember what they say about a woman that bleeds for seven days and still lives? Got to be the no, fucking devil. No, that happened once. In his yeah, if man. I bled for seven days, I'd be dead. Yeah, and then they lose hair and don't go bald. Fuck you. Yeah. bald still from when we That's what he was cracking on. <laughs> Anywho, so John uh, works at Playtex from Florida, but now he lives in Dover, Delaware. How the hell did you get up here to Dover? Um... It's a really long story. I was very young, you know, coming up here with my mother. So, you know, you really can't can't do anything about that. Nope. So they, <laughs> your mom leaves, you got to go with her. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, uh, can I just I stay can't. here? And that you always ask that. Can yeah. I stay? Can I stay here? Can like, I have the apartment when you leave? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was your um, mom in the service or something? Or no, she's not in the service. Oh. Um. 
Does she have family she's... here? Or... Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. she had family in Delaware. So you're back to the family. My mom here. Um, she Were you passed. at my mom's yesterday? Your mom passed. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. Thank you. You're an awful young man, too. How old are you? Yeah, young. 20. 20 years old. Ain't even old enough to get into Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing. Stay this out pubic of hair yeah. still smells like pee. <laughs> Okay, Squig. <laughs> wow. Young Buck. With the, uh, he paid a lot of attention to his Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what he likes. And um, so he came, with him came uh, Ruiz. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Lewis. With yeah. Uh, Ruiz. It's like a Chinese guy trying to say Lewis. Ruiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually German. Hero it Ruiz. That makes sense. But, yeah. <laughs> Have you anybody seen Jerry Ruiz? <laughs> <laughs> you know Chinese. <laughs> you too can speak Chinese. So you make beats, is that correct? Uh, yeah, among other things. That's, that's what I, I'm here supporting my boy. Uh, he's got his album coming out. I, I produced a lot of the tracks on there. And... Uh, I don't really have a. I so don't you're have a, a producer. Either. Yeah. So where do you where do you do your 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 producing? Um, in the back of my studio apartment. In the back. Yeah. Of, so what do you it's got? Like a computer, right, some yeah, nice speakers, a, a setup. I have a computer. Uh, really low budget kind of situation. It's just a computer with uh, programs on it. It's not much. I don't even have speakers. It's just all monitor. I had headphones, but. We're not going to talk about so that. So you're making beats with no speakers and no headphones. You're a bad <laughs> motherfucker. <dude. laughs> he don't even hear the shit. He just puts it on the street. Like, Modern day Beethoven. That's, <laughs> that's what I got to do. Look at like this. <laughs> he's like this. Here's a beat, motherfucker. <laughs> don't even know what it sounds like. <laughs> I, <didn't even> <laughs> I know it's good. Yeah, it's all good. He puts a hat on there. It's good enough. It's fine. He puts, yeah. it, he puts it out and, does, and just waits for the reviews to come out. He's like this. He says, people are still buying my beats. How much so, do beats go for? How much? How much for a beat? Uh, you know, I don't. I don't really sell that often because I'm super protective. Uh, the last time I really sold anything, uh, I sold it for about 150. Um, Why are you super? What do you mean? Protective? Yeah. What do you mean you're protective? Because it's Delaware, and a lot of people <coughs> um, aren't as professional as they should be to make it in the business. So you got to be really careful about who you work with. I, you know, I trust. I trust the. Uh, you mean people steal your beats? That happens quite frequently, <coughs> or they try. So they get off with your beat. Yeah, they they try. Well, how do you stop it? Uh, you I talk mean, to I'm Elaine just... Carroll Studios. We can tell you how to <laughs> how to keep people from stealing your crap Damn without right. severe consequences. Well, yeah. you we'll said, send video Mike after him. You said <laughs> that you usually tag your shit, but lately you've been. Uh, well, actually, I, I very seldom tag it. Um, I used to, I was doing like a, a tiger roar back in the day that I was tagging like all my beats with and then like somebody else started using it and uh, I stopped doing that. I just, I always forget to do it. Um, I, so I, most of my beats aren't even tagged. I, I just make them, I put them out there. I kind of mostly do it for me. Like I'd like to make money doing it, but I kind of just make the beats just to listen to them myself. Well, that's why you need direction and that's why you should make them. You should make them from the heart, not for money. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you can make... A comfortable living, you could drive a nicer car and have a nice house from that stuff. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's what you know. A studio like ours or uh, other studios, other producers, other promoters can help you do. They can help you get in front of that money. You know, they're the business end of it. Where you're an artist. Sometimes artists don't realize that they're not business people, yeah. and they try to be. <laughs> you know, and uh, you can't be everything all the time. You know, so you kind of gotta sometimes work with other people. It's like this little show here. This is a lot. This is a lot of people come together to make this happen for the last two years. So, I thank everybody that's here working with me still, and those who hate me, to hate me, and um, <laughs> those who aren't here and they still love us. So, I appreciate every, each and every one of you um, for helping out. It, it's it's a big. You know, this this world. You can't do anything yourself anymore. We're so distracted. There's something always going on. There's these damn cell phones all the time. And we're able to multitask, and we have the ability to do so. And we're just mm -hmm. pulled in so many different directions. It's yeah. hard to stay focused. But, um, you know, as an artist, you really need to focus on your art. So that's that's a thing any artist could can, you know, you can't do enough of is, is focus on your art. So if you can take the business side away from that, 
or if you just suck at it, give us a call here at Lane Carroll Studios. We can do that for you. And we might be able to help you out or at least point, help point you in the right direction. We do love artists. That's why we do this stuff. So, um, Todd, you think you can play a song or, or two for us here? Yeah, man. Absolutely. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, I got a couple things. I got... Ah. This is good. Cool. Well, we're going we're gonna to listen to a, a song or two from Todd, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more to Metamorphos, and maybe those guys can try to rap something out. I don't know if that'll happen. Rap, rap, rap. <laughs> Some acoustic rap. Mm. And, then, uh, <laughs> and then we'll check out one of, um, one of your songs, Metamorphos. All right. And then we'll um, talk about your album coming out. When's that coming out? Um, late May, actually. It'll probably be around May 30th or my birthday, June 1st. So... Yeah, you got all your pictures, graphics, cover art done yeah, and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. I actually have a couple pictures, but as far as the graphic art, there's not a lot of people that you run into that really do. It. I do Seriously. it. You didn't well, even yeah. ask me. Colin, <laughs> Colin's world famous, man. I'm telling you, look up, look up Colin Kent on Seek Art on Facebook. Seek Art. S E. Because I mean, like this guy Rob Lewis here has like. Yeah, I do. I do a little bit of that stuff too. I just. Nobody, nobody asks is what, is what the problem is. <laughs> yep, and that's another thing, too. We don't always put ourselves out there like we should. Yeah. You know? There's a million things a studio could do for folks, but it's a lot to put out there. All right, so Todd's going to give us a little song. This is a song I wrote about uh, pet peeves and people who do things that piss me off and what I'd like to do to people that uh, piss me off. This is called One of the People. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it uh, to you. Talk on the cell phone at the movies. If you have a sweater for your dog. If you leave your Christmas lights up until St. Patrick's Day, then you are one of the people that I should kill. Don't feel the need to use turn signals If you drive 55 in the left lane uh, yeah. Motherfuckers <laughs> If you put stuffed animals in the back window of your friggin' car Assholes Those people are assholes you are one of the people Say it with me that, that I, I should kill Thank you, Al yes. <laughs> I feel like you're on my side in this <laughs> song Go and call your congressman, cause there ought to be a law. We all should get one free kill per day, no questions asked. That's right. So come on, spread the word, we gotta thin the herd. There doesn't seem to be a better way today. If you stop at the end of an on-ramp, if your boxers show over the top of your pants. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> if you pull two cartloads into 12 items or less, then you are one of the people that I should kill. Thank you very much. <laughs> Al and I are going to go on tour. Yeah. It's like road rage without the counseling. We can get it out of our system. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. great. We should... We should go on tour with the Road Rage Counselors. Who are the Road Rage Counselors? That's us. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with that song. I'm going to come in and do one song for you. Cool. So what was the title of that one? One of the People. One of the People. But it was really all just New Jersey that you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you are one it of the It was people. a whole state. Here are those fuckers yeah, on really 95 in, New in Jersey. Philly. Yeah. <laughs> I need to customize that. Probably should have tuned before I came in. Oh, it sounded fantastic. <laughs> we got our auto tune on. Your problem is one of the people. Yes. Seriously. If your G strings out of tune. My G strings out of tune. Don't fluff Hey, I'm off. Off what? Yeah, we turned you to fuck off. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fine, I'm not talking tonight. Here at the Foul Mouth Al Show. 
So, uh, John, you think you can rap over some, some chords? Yeah, I could I could try something. Oh, yeah. What kind of beat you want? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as it's with an acoustic guitar. You got another song for us? You just want something instrumental? Go ahead, John. By day I think everybody never listens. Here I drink, sipping on this new Moscato. She looking at me, groggy in the face. But man, I'm feel so happy. She's laying on her back, legs all up in the air. All her senses looking at me, but really I don't care. Trying to have a good time, take off your underwear. <laughs> foul my foul show, so everything is uncensored here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Collaboration, <laughs> collaboration. I mean, because you don't get no whiter than Todd over that, here. That's oh, yeah. true. <laughs> that's true. And uh, you know, John's a hell of a rapper. And I think you're a first spitter on the show. Metamorphosis. Uh, nobody's. Well, nobody was always. Just, oh, hey, let me do something. <laughs> I can't think of nothing off my head. Went ahead and ripped that out of there. <laughs> really? It's awesome. never worked before? Nobody's ever... Reese, no, Reese. actually, Reese and Colt oh, yeah, did one a long yeah, time Reese ago. And Colt. Reese, uh, Reese uh, of course, Reese of Reese and Colton of uh, the last Valorians, who Mark has been talking to. What, what's going yes, on with them? Uh, you know, I was going to put something about Gentle Glide, but... Yeah, know. don't do that. No. We've, <laughs> we've spoken enough about Gentle Glide. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of commu- offer them guys a case of Gentle Glide. Can we get some kind of promotion from this uh, G- Gentle Glide thing? I mean, can you get us a case of tampons? We'll promote them. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'll wear them. I mean, last time they had like this little trifecta day where, I mean, I thought guys would get something really good. But a trifecta? Yeah. What the hell? Con- tell me about the trifecta. I can't let you go past that. Come Basically, on. Basically, what trifecta is, is like? Certain type of Disease. little thing they go on. <laughs> it's like it's got something to do with the machines, like trifecta. It's a party. It's a trifecta. There's three well, things. A trifecta happening. day is. Or like, they broke, and then somebody says trifecta. <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, it probably is. <laughs> you know, you get tampons, maxi pads, and whatever. Yeah. And call but, people um, because it's all the same. I mean, I like. thought I was gonna get like, you know, the guys are gonna get like probably some. Some Hold on, Tom put his guitar down. I thought you had another song. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you? Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I, mean, I thought sad. the guys were gonna get probably some thing. some condoms from Playtex that were never made or some shit. But condoms, tampons, and maxi we ended pads. Up yeah, it would have been a trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a trifecta. We actually um, Ruiz ended up was upset. He getting, wasn't there that getting day. boxes of tampons, and I was just like, you know. Come out with a black bag full of a box of tampons and like <laughs> <laughs> you got a woman. They put it in a black you bag. Got a woman. They got a woman. That's what they It could have been a clear bag. Doing. That would have been a lot worse. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, just walking out of a production place with a box full of tampons, your <laughs> guy is just like. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you about where you got those tampons? <laughs> yeah. You can, can use a, them to tip strippers. Can a black guy walk down the street with a box of tampons? <laughs> <laughs> front page, man steals tampons. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I would have been on front street out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hung with tampon string. <laughs> you know, just imagine what your mother would think. Just like, you're like, what the hell are you doing at court, <laughs> mom? Just walking out with a bag full of tampons. That would have been cool if they'd have hung him with the tampon strings from a big statue right out of the pussy. <laughs> right out of the pussy. But I gotta keep it scented. That's though, horrible. So. That's horrible. <laughs> Squig, how do you come up with this shit? Yeah, I don't know. I just write it for you. You took me there. That was horrible. Anyway, so uh, Todd's got a great song here for us. <laughs> There's no good way to segue to, to another song. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play a song. This is a song about uh, somebody who used to be a very, very big part of my life, and they aren't anymore, and it makes me sad. So what, your what erection? Song is like. Yes, my erection. Oh, wow. How'd you know? Is it? No. No. Oh. You got all excited. Is it your dog? Right. <laughs> no. Is it your cat? <laughs> we, just... we always were together since I was very small. You always were beside me. Winter, spring, or fall Sometimes I can't determine 
where I end and you begin. You'll always be a part of me. You're my conjoined twin. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I didn't know how we'd go on when we were torn apart. I didn't think we'd make it because we shared a heart. We always were a team through any kind of weather. We could get through anything when we put our heads together. Bro, this really sounds Sometimes like an I can't determine <laughs> where I end and you begin. You'll always be a part of me. You're my conjoined twin. Conjoined twin. Conjoined twin. <laughs> I could have a rap part in the middle. You want to do it? Yeah. About a twin. About a conjoined twin. Oh, a conjoined twin. But you, instead of a twin, your twin is your dick. <laughs> All right? Okay. Call him Sloan. <laughs> Gentle glide. I always got frustrated before we were separated. Wow. But now I love you even more so since I used to share your torso. <laughs> Sometimes I can't determine where I end and you begin. I have great affection for our connection. There's no objection to your defection. Our middle of section went through dissection. I'm sorry this song's not about my erection. Oh, you're my conjoined twin. twin. White boy spitting. Yeah. And then he stole my Cheetos <laughs> and slammed them. <laughs> and I punched him in the nose. And then it was on. Hey, we had a show where we rapped, Al. We were we good. Did. Rap, rap, rap. Yeah, we tried it with, uh, that was when we tried it with Colton. and We were badass. I don't, think, I don't remember. <laughs> we were good, man. I don't remember all that. I remember. We were nowhere good as Todd Chappelle. No. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming down, Todd. The crowd goes wild. The sitting ovation. Yes, yes. Innovation <laughs> down here is... Um, an amazing thing. It happens for no reason sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Well, I didn't stand because I got a boner. That I, song was sweet. I take that. I, I'll take that as a compliment, sir. It's the truth. Very good, very good. So Todd Chappelle, not Dave Chappelle, no, Todd Chappelle. Although we put Dave Chappelle on the posters because he attracts more people. <laughs> and for the for the venue, that's all the ca they care about. So. I wrote to Comedy Central after Dave Chappelle left his show and said, I could step in. Yeah. So you wouldn't even have to change anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be the same. I didn't hear anything. No. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> That's because you didn't have a Lane Carroll studio sent That's in your right. press camp. Right. <laughs> that would have made shameless all the difference. Promotion. Yes, shameless. Right. Well done. We're shameless well done, whores. Al. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, all of our artists are artists, and uh, the studio is whores. We are whores whoring them out, so... They're starving. They need work. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good slogan. <laughs> <laughs> All the whole thing. You just put it on a t-shirt. Yep, good. put it right on a t-shirt with uh, a some really long bumper sticker. Just with uh, with some across. starving artists with cans and oh yeah, yeah, like one of the commercials. Yeah, we would. We should Sally do a Struthers in we the should, background. Right, we should crying. do a commercial with <laughs> with the artists where they don't have no clothes and no food, and there's flies buzzing around and that <laughs> stuff, and they're all dirty. Like we put, yeah. they haven't had showers in weeks. And then it'll click to me at the end, and I'll have that Indian tear. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the I got slow it. motion head tilt. I'm old enough to get that right. <laughs> I know. I'm, yeah. I'm like, yeah. damn, yeah. they yeah. probably don't remember that. Yeah. These motherfuckers don't know who Kimo Sabi is. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot? What the fuck is that? Sasquatch? <laughs> you guys know who Kimo Sabi is? Uh, Have you heard of that before? Yeah, I the, did. From I heard Lone of Ranger? It. Yes. That's yeah, right, Lone exactly. Ranger. Lone Ranger. Look, I said Long Ranger. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. a, that was a porno flick. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one too. It's good. All right, well, John's got an album coming that out soon. That was a gay flick. And, um, Whoa, Squib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the name come from? <laughs> it's okay. I starred in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Squig's a, an ex-gay porn actor. Yeah, I had to quit that shit. I'd be walking around two days later after a shoot. People were like, man, you smell like shit. That's my dick. <laughs> 
And then the other guy, he wasn't walking after the shoot, so (laughs) you're already a step ahead. I was flushing them out. That's why they call him Squib. Yeah, Squib. (laughs) (laughs) Put a B on it, Squib. (laughs) All right, well, um, so you have a new album coming out. Are any of these songs that I'm looking at here going to be on it? Um, Actually, first time where they see me and mad at me will be on there. Where They See Me. So that's one of your favorite ones, Where They See Me? Yeah. And tell us about a little bit about that song. Um, it basically expresses, you know, basically where I want to be. You know, I want to be at that echelon to where I'm actually, you know, known more than just Delaware. You know, even if it's statewide, it doesn't have to be worldwide. You know. I disagree. I want to be worldwide, but you can have your like smaller dream if you want to. You can I have mean, Clayton. We have the internet. <laughs> you're now in 20 countries thanks to the foul mouth yeah. oh, So thanks. you're worldwide. That's right. Thank you. That's right. So, um, so where well, they see me, it's about it's about where other people see you, or is it about where you want to be? It's where I want to be. It's where you want to be. Yep. So it's where you want them to see you. Uh huh. And that's where it goes to where I'm not stopping until I reach that goal. You know. Gotcha. So that comes into where your your motto, like Squig was saying, you're trying to be the best no matter how it looks. Yeah. You want them to see you in a certain like Take time to, to break bread on you haters. A lot of haters out there. Time to break bread on you haters. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> break the hard <laughs> loaf fucking, of Italian bread on their head. That shit hurt. I'm 43. Oh, Do you yeah. understand what the hell that means? He's going to break bread on the haters. Mm. That means you're going to be friends with them? <laughs> it's time to be friends with no, them? that's with. No. That's on is, on is bad. With, the, <laughs> yeah. with is good. Yeah. So so we're gonna eat on your grave on the haters. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have dinner on your grave, bitch. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to translate into 1970s. It's, it's still it still sounds white, Al. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to make it sound whiter is to have me say it. Let's see. In 1982, I went to a school with 2,007 kids, and four of them were white, and I was one of those kids. So I understand 1980s. You know, <coughs> slang. Today, it's okay. breaking bread on haters. On right. is the key word here. Well, he was born in the 90s. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Just give us some perspective. Young buck. Absolutely. <laughs> perspective on my ass is getting old. <laughs> <laughs> this gray in my hair ain't die, kids. Age spots. <laughs> I don't, have AIDS. AIDS. I don't have age spots. <laughs> they got these things for that now. It's funny. <laughs> yes. Just rub you in honey. So he's going to break bread on you haters. So that means he ain't taking your shit. Oh, no. Nah. Right? He's a leader in his own way, lives his own life of success, and glad to be living. That's right. Every day when you wake up, remember, somebody did not. So it's a good day if you woke up. So, all right, well, before we get out of here, um, we got to talk about the Sport Zone in Smyrna, 235 Stadium Street. The end of the month, the last Wednesday of the month, we do um, – the Free Thinkers Ball, mm-hmm. and we videotape the Kitty Video Magazine, and it goes on our channel at explorede.com. Um, digitalstreetstudio.com, check them out. If you need some audio recorded, Digital oh, yeah. Street Studio can help you out. They have packages. They can get it done for you. They have the ability to track uh, whole bands. So if you wanted to bring in, if you wanted to get your, your, your album done, Todd, mm-hmm. with a whole band backing you up, they can do that for you. They can put a band together? They can, oh, they got the band right there oh, cool. and within a phone call. They got the drummer, bass player, guitars, <clears throat> horns, violins. Uh, they got people on call to come out to the studio. Awesome. It's very awesome. I only use four chords in a song, so that'd be piece of cake probably oh yeah 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 and they would say no no no, it ain't gonna be that easy they <laughs> i've seen them do this there was a young lady who came in to do some recording um and she had they had brought in a, a bass player of a, a violinist uh, a drummer and a guitar player two guitar players actually mm-hmm. uh and the girl came in we were they were familiar with her song they went through it they actually re- helped her rearrange it and add you know crescendos in it and just just make it more exciting and more oh fun. yeah it's always good to have other people look oh at yeah your, and your, some of the artists music some of the artists that work there are very you know they're very popular they you know they they have a very um you know big resume of things that they've done for long periods of time so cool. there are no amateurs down at digital street studio check them out at digitalstreetstudio.com uh, we also want to put out a mention to uh, thanks to Tony's Pizza in Dover, one of our newest uh, sponsors. Yes, sir. Check out Tony's Pizza at DoverItalianFood.com. Also, guess what? At par three, has anybody, has anybody played golf? Golf's coming up. 
Nobody plays golf. How about batting cages? You guys ever go to the batting cages? Mm-hmm. I like them both. No wonder they're struggling down there. Nobody ever does any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> Lord. It's Delaware. <laughs> it's good. Get off your ass and go swing some uh, swing some bats down at the batting cages at the Dover Par 3. If you mention this code, if you go in there and tell them ExploreDE.com sent you, they'll give you 10 free tokens when you buy 10. So it's like getting double your money, Squig. Fuck yeah, I love it. I'll double go. your money, dude. I'll go. <laughs> Todd, it's just like double your money, man. Uh, that's right. You it's can't. Like, yes, it's I'm an accountant. Yes, that's that's double. Double is good. <laughs> Double's always good. <laughs> Double's good. How about a month's free lawn care? Is that good? Oh yeah, yeah that's good. I don't have a lawn. I live in an apartment. Go to MillersLawns.com. Uh, and you could get a free month's lawn care. Uh, go to exploredee.com and click on uh, Miller's Lawn Care link. He has an opportunity for somebody's going to get a free month's lawn care. And you have to go in there and check out the details uh, with at Miller's Lawn Care. But you can find them through explorede.com. And I can vouch for them because they did my yard for uh, a month. My house looked totally different. How come it was only for a month, Squig? Because I had to get a new riding mower. I was broke. <laughs> So oh, Squig was on, on hold cutting his grass. Yeah. <laughs> but so. they did everything, trim, you name it. Anyway, we Edge. want to thank those those new sponsors. They're s- sponsors of the studio. <clears throat> they certainly didn't f- sign up for the Foul Mouth Owl Show. They always throw in the Foul Mouth Owl Show when they sell sponsorships for the studio. People wow. are like, what's that? What the f- <laughs> What? I don't want to hear that. No, no, no. Don't put us on. <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. It's our most popular program. It's got 6,000 people a week listening to it. Oh, yeah. Put it on there. Now we want it. But just <laughs> don't tell nobody. <laughs> so now you know. Um, we're, the, we're the closer for the, uh, for the studio. But they won't sell us can't sell us so we're going to listen to this song on the way out the door here for the family out thou show where they see me by metamorphosis check them out on facebook yeah what's your facebook it's john hammett yeah do you have a metamorphosis page oh yeah so it's metamorphosis m-e-t-a dash m-o-r-p-h-u-s oh yeah check it out and uh check out todd chappelle later on this month at the sports zone in smyrna and if you missed that that's okay he's always at todd and you're one of those people yes <laughs> I love that scene. I knew, I knew that. Whoa, love that good scene. lord. The volume's up sneak to that. Sneak peek, sneak peek. That was a sneak peek. Thanks, Al. <laughs> that was an eardrum blast. And here we go. Now we're going to listen to John's song here. <clears throat> here it comes. All right. And for video, Mike Clarkson, Squiggy Squig, Colin Kent, and uh, everybody else that pitches in on the Foul Mouth Al show, I want to say thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday and improve your luck. All you got to do is nod your head and say, you can tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday, right? Yeah, I can do that. Yep. And they'll do the same thing. Next thing you know, there's 8 million people listening to foulmouthout.com. They'll all send me a buck and I'll retire and you'll have to listen to reruns. So we'll catch you guys (laughs) next time on the Foul Mouth Out Show. This is Metamorphosis, where they are or where they see me. Peace out. I push myself to the limits that they never see. I'm walking with a wisdom stick and it's just me. Off that good kush, get hot as Charlie Sheen. But it's not as squeaky clean as I'm screeching on the scene. Put full of anger problems while you will be stepping mean. And other niggas staring up havoc. I'm on the rise, just doing damage. Open wounds, they never bandaged. Stick it to my vegetables, fill my pockets up with cabbage. Something they couldn't ravage, so like Rick, they call me rude. I'm just trying to fill their minds with this lyrical soul food. I hope I'm here forever without a shot of a doubt. I'm saddled up in this game. With no willing to dismount, let's go. I'ma bring it to you live, no 3D. I do this shit until the day I RIP. Just understand that I be putting on for DE. And I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Where they see me. Where they see me. I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Where they see me. Where they see me. I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. I'ma bring it to you live, no 3D. I do this shit until the day I RIP. Just understand that I be putting off a DE And I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me Where they see me, where they see me I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me Where they see me, where they see me I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me from all the times that I sat in class writing all these tracks, more willing to push on, never willing to set back. I stay fat, more than the ordinary person, a better version of myself's what I've gained. So much is on my mind, but I'm impervious to pain. And people never realize inside what you sustain. The main mission is get rid of you, fill you up with ridicule.
Chilling with the brains, yeah, I was that individual. But it all took a turn, 450-360. Virgin status on the track, they can't fuck with me. I'm spitting out these rounds till the whole cartridge is blown. And niggas just wonder why I'm always standing all alone. Cause the bulls have stepping like the leg without a pegging. Don't wanna make a sacrifice, but still want a session. And then you wanna hate, bull stop being selective. Cap a nigga in the bowl, I'm making super impressions. Let's go, pick up. I'ma bring it to you live, no 3D. I do this shit until the day I RIP. Just understand that I be putting off a DE. And I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Where they see me. Where they see me. I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Where they see me. Where they see me. I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Rock, 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 rock. Hands up and rock, 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 rock. I'ma bring it to you live, no 3D. I do this shit until the day I RIP. Just understand that I be putting off a DE. And I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. Where they see me. Where they see me. I ain't stopping till the top is where they see me. So, you think you got what it takes to rock the stage, mic, or radio? Give us a call at the FMA show. We'll listen to what you have and direct you to producers who can help. Or we may just play your music straight on the air. Send your demo to FMA at Yahoo.com or call 302-423-0276. That's 302-423-0276. The Foul Mouth Owl Show is produced by Elaine Carroll Studios. 